No be say anybody win election. No, no be say anybody recently was employed. No. Or they were sharing money. Somebody was sad. That's the reason why they are jubilating. This man, Bichi, the past, of course, we can refer to him as the past, the former DSS boss. Tunubu asked him to resign immediately and appointed another person. Now they are really, 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 really happy jubilating. The staff, I don't know if it's okay for our security services to be jubilating when it comes to any officer sacked. But they were jubilating and happy. Apparently, according to the story we are hearing about this man, are not even really favorable. Some are saying he was extremely wicked. He abused the office. In fact, there are some people say his wife who abused the office. His children abused the office. According to I wasn't I was a witness to all of this. But according to tweets online so far from people. They are saying the man was extremely wicked. Well, now he has been replaced. I hope you guys, you know, when it comes to Nigeria civil service, eh, eh, when somebody they say somebody is wicked, I say the person know the shame on you. <laughs> it's the best, but if you know the shame money, not only you they chop the money, you still wicked. At least they will not say you know they chop the money, nobody they chop money. It's really, really understandable. But if you now only you they chop the money, nobody else they chop the money, you are wicked. But the Nigeria people, masses are still suffering in though. Well, let's move up, uh, let's move past that. Let's discuss about bandit on TikTok. I don't understand when we recently turn changed the name for terrorists, can't turn out to bandits. Bandit is still younger brother to that terrorist too. Well, they are on TikTok and we have complained about it. But then again, they wonder. Those of us where they complain, say bandit did TikTok. Does it mean that we are indirectly telling the nature for them to have sense? Yes, so if we complain too much, that hey, those people they complain, they will catch us, they will draw back, they know they post again. Don't you think? It's in our favor. If these bandits keep posting online, because if we censor them, nobody can actually see them. If they keep posting online, they, they, you know, when somebody posts something online, you automatically post your address, your address IP. Those technicians can see it. They can detect where, where you took that video from. They can detect where you took that photo from and they will get you arrested. So, for those of you who are crying that the bandit should be posting picture, don't you think we are directly hurting ourselves? Let them post so that they will get them arrested. The only thing is that the police, the security service in Nigeria should be swift. Be in a hurry to get them arrested. Immediately after the post, track them, trace them and arrest them. So, I think it's in our favor, if they keep posting, let them post, so that our security services can see them now. I'm just thinking out loud, though. I'm just thinking out loud. Don't you think so? It's good that they post, so that our own security services will locate them swiftly and get them arrested. Hmm? Because we are shouting bandit on TikTok. What kind of country is this? Bandit on TikTok. What kind of country is this? If those bandit learn, come guess and say they're not supposed to be post to call. Majority of them will not go to see them again. No. They will they live in shadows. So some and some we want them to keep posting so that they can still keep getting there. Thinking out loud, I'm not saying I'm correct. You might think differently, you understand, but I'm just raising it. Ever since I told say bandit day on TikTok, they're not supposed to be on TikTok. Why they will be on TikTok? <laughs> Let them be on TikTok. You understand? Let them be on TikTok so that they can catch them. Then again, guys, I want to discuss about the recent Abuja riot. Happened on Sunday. Sunday or Saturday, I don't really know the date. Two policemen in Abuja, bye. 
vehicle were burnt. It was not an end bad government riot. It was not any protest against hunger riot. It was not bad government riot or protest. It was merely some people, I think they say shite, I don't know, that were going around and apparently the police buy one of their person and they retaliated. So that was the story then. If you see what they use police people do for some stations, chai. I can't post the video here because of YouTube rules are over there. But if you see what they do, <laughs> these people, Kai, if you see what they do to those police, ha. well, all we pray for here is peace and unity. Understand? Peace and unity is all we pray for here. Please. Papa, if you see, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, uh, to end this video, eh, I want to play you a trendy video that is going around in Lagos. The incident happened in Lagos, and I think this man eh, deserves some form of recognition. Just see what he did. There was massive traffic at this particular area in Lagos while other people were patiently following the, the, the long traffic. Some individuals, including this car with siren, we do not know if it belongs to any government official. Yes, most definitely a government official, but I don't think it's police. Was trying to use the one way and this guy blocked them. I say, you are not going anywhere. You have to go back. I say, go back. Go back. Stay on that queue. Go back. Well, this guy deserves an award. Deserve a really strong award. Well, let's uh, watch the video. If they turn all those keken up back, all of them, all of them, turn it their back, go back. This guy deserve an award though. You now go see people for queue. I don't understand. If you follow the one way, the one way called block, we call. everything will just block. Nowhere to go, nowhere to come. Is that better? Because obviously, if one person follow one way, the rest will follow one. And they they go block as well. Then the other people that were coming, they will still decide to follow the other path. Everybody will just choke. How do we now go home? In such situation, how do we now maneuver it and go home? We become trapped in one place. Please, they should look for this man and give him an award. That's the national award for his uh, services to humanity. And they should make him an official as well. It's not easy to control such uh, traffic. There are some uh, educated, ignorant ones that will come to fight in there. Majorly educated people with cars. 
it's not only by education no, that means you sorry civilized people with good cars. It's not only by education. <laughs> the guy clear everywhere. He clear everywhere. He clear everywhere. Make sure nobody used use the one way. That's really nice. Still on that part. It be like say I even know the guy self. You know be the guy with the support uh, Sawo Luda yet. Yeah. <laughs> I know the guy. <laughs> 